Hello everybody, my name is The Farming Man and welcome to Farm Sim Sunday. So today we are on a different map. This is Alvingham for 2015. This is a lot more different than the other one. Ah, uh, we are powering over everything. So we've got a few grass fields and all that. Right. So I didn't know. First off, the Robert Forks, the new updated versions, actually have one for the wheel loader. Which is really cool, because I didn't know that, so we're using this. Can this thing hook up to that? So this means we'll be able to get a lot more use out of this JCB than we will anything else. Yes, we can hook it up. Right, okay, that means we can dump all the equipment on it and then... So I have had this save game for a bit. Well, I say a bit, I mean about five minutes but oh well all right so let's pull up yes I know it's a bit late I know it's really late actually I mean it's not even in the day where I'm re it's about eight o'clock at night but I've been busy so I shall go we shall make sure this is a good episode all the other stuff is back at the farm I shall show you it all when we get back Let's just make sure this guy can take the load. And we'll also lock the load as well. What, eight? Did he? Okay, fuck me. Okay, it says there's no load, so that's okay. We'll have to drive, drive slowly. Drive slowly and not in cab. No, ramp, stay up. Oh, the loader goes down. So I'll show you the equipment when we get there. Right, so we've got the uh, truck for carting the grain. We've got the mowers over there as well. Fent, uh, what is it? LS favourites or something. The wrapper with the green wrap on it, round baler, feeder, sprayer, fuel tank, rake, that's sort, of, that sort of the stock equipment that comes with it. The cedar doesn't come in it. The abbey and the other, well the marshall trailer. Um, there's a few other bits and bobs. So in here's the rake, uh, the plow and the cultivator. For some reason everything gets dirty without even using it, so. It's just weird. Right. That's the grain bucket. That can go with the grain. Uh, grain bucket can live. Let's put it back. Let's put it next to the fertilizer. Because then it's accessible to all the tanks. There's no storage on this map for corn, so we're not going to do that. Um, but yeah, this thing is going to be bale stacking and all that for us. Which is going to be a lot of fun. With the sheer size of it. Right. Just leave the trailer there. Sod it. Right, we've got some harvesting to get on with. At the moment... Wait, did I fuck up? No, I didn't. I thought I'd detach the header then. Rum. The class aggro. Or Axion, I think it's called. Uh, we've got the T7 over there as well. So... We're, we're probably going to start bailing in a bit. I mean, I haven't got any spare tractors. Right, so let's let this guy turn around and then we'll carry on emptying him. But whilst he turns around, let's buy... Actually, we have got spare tractors. We've got the little round one. We need to get about 500 cows. 
Come on. Oh, let's get some chickens as well. Let's let's get a fair few, and then we'll put one of the hutch things down for him. Let's have about 100, 150, and then sheep will probably get the same, about 100, 150. But cows are going to be the main money maker. Well, okay, whatever. That one's probably going to really piss me off, so I'm probably going to have to change it anyway. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. That garage. Yeah, that one is definitely going to annoy the shit out of me. So the Abbey isn't the original, isn't the right colour. It's a grey. It should be an orange, I think. Well, it probably doesn't really matter, but, you know. So we're going to do them. That means we're going to need a pallet fork. Shit, I didn't realise we are going to need one of that. Now, I do have a, McCor a McCormick, I think they're called, tractor, which I've downloaded. It isn't the best. And I haven't tried it yet, so I'll probably give that a, a whirl as well. Let's get the McCormick to with whether it's going to crash my game or not. I have absolutely no idea. But I always seem to come back with more and more tractors each time we play. So let's go right the way down. Honest to God, if this crashes my game, I'm going to be well pissed off. So this is it. It's 150 horsepower. Let's buy it. Your selection is being purchased. Right. Now let's see what happens when we tap to it. Okay. From the outside, let's see if there's any, any clip. Okay, it didn't really like that. Yes, you can clip in the bonnet right to about there. Wheel, just climb up it. Let's look at the three point. Yeah, most of it fits on. Apart from the arms, though. See them black sort of things hovering there? That The bottom of them arms should be connected to it. Not. Right, let's get in it. Let's look at what there is. Front hydraulic is you. Oh, we don't, I don't like it with a front hydraulic on. Forward to change wheels. Wow, okay. McCormick skinny wheels. Right. Oh, it's got an IC. Open steering wheel, open door. Holy shit, what is that on the roof? Wow, that is trippy. Can you open the back window? And the side window. Right, let's give it a blast. Okay, there's just more turbo noise. Well, that mod is crap. It's just more turbo noise more than anything. So, bye-bye. Right, let's carry on with the harvest. Um, so, he's doing well. Let's get a little fent going on the baler. I forgot this fence sounds really weird. The sooner we get this bailed, the f better, really. So we're going to get this bailed. We're not going to cause play it because there's really no point. The fields are tiny on this map anyway, so... Does a nice change when you open the window. Mmm, 
tractor is a nice tractor. It's just... I don't really like the sound of it. So whether that's realistic or not, I don't know. But it sounds a bit weird. So, let's open the gate. Well, let's just sort of drive at the gate. Now, I haven't got the glance mod on anymore or anything like that, so I can't actually tell when something's ready. Let's put it off to the side. So it can't roll down the hill. I'm not really too bothered if they did roll down the hill. It's just a pain in the ass to get out. You've got to try and find them as well. Afterwards. So yes, I am going to plough fields and cultivate them. Okay, that bale's definitely off. Probably should that put that at a different angle. So it's probably the, the headlands that are probably going to be the worst. And that bale is rolling right into the other lane. Yeah, this tractor, it does get washable. It is washable, does get dirty. Um, Right, so that bale is doing my head in because it's just rolling away. Which is a pain in the arse. I probably should have done squares, but I don't. I don't know whether the McHale square bale wrapper works. Oh god, I hate this sound. I don't really like this track. I like its looks. It looks really good. I just dislike the sound badly for some reason. I just do. Oh dear, I've only got five rows left. No, I hit the wrong button. This is it's alright when you bail in real life, you can't hook it unless you get out, so But yeah, we should do it. We're going to give it a go, ploughing. I think I've got a tractor big enough to, for the job. If not, we'll buy another one. I mean, actually, yeah, we'll probably buy another one now. Let's buy another class. Have I got another class? No, John Deere's, John Deere's. John Deere's, John Deere's. Too many John Deere's to count. Uh, oh, that that's a nice big one, isn't it? That'll do. Fuck it. We'll have that. That can do ploughing and cultivating all the heavy ground work. And all these little ones can do the light stuff. We'll probably sell this and get a T6 as well. The other one, without the loader brackets. Because then that one can do the uh, spraying. Yeah, we'll uh, leave this guy here and go check on the... What's the name? Leave him on. Fuck it, he can stay on. We're only over here. Right, after this we've only got the canola... Well, we've got two canola fields to do in field 80. We're going to get... We'll let... 
Well, field 8, I mean, not 80. We're going to do all the barley fields first, and then we'll do the two canola fields. Well, barley and wheat. Two wheat, two barley, I think it was. Right, let's go. I am just going to cut through the edge. I really cannot be bothered to drive all the way around. Oh no, the gateway's here. I don't even know why I look. There's no traffic. Now I have got the Richard Weston silage trailer, but as we don't do silage in the clamp on this farm, because I really cannot be bothered, because you basically have to just do one field of grass and it's full. So, once it's full, it's full. You can't actually put them anywhere, so. And if you like me, once you've got one that's full, you like to fill the other one up as well, so. I wonder if we could cosplay this, but, you know. Oh, the wheel's got a twitch. Right, what else could we buy and get rid of some money? Right, I know what, I know what we actually need to do. We need to sell something. Is these. Fuck off. Go away. Get out of my life. And buy this. Bastard. There you go. Life's going to be a lot easier now doing them fields. Um, we'll probably do some mowing after this field. I don't really feel like doing all the harvest just yet. I'll do the last rest of it for either next week, I think. But as this is a, as this is a map that I am going to play on, I'm probably going to do it just just for me. So if something no fuck off. So if something changes, then it's because I've changed it. Right, let's knock these off. Come here, Ford. I mean, class. Mmm. The big beast. Right, I'll tell you what, we're selling this now. This tractor is annoying as hell. That, that sound is really annoying. I'm disliking this sound. So we are going to get the T6 that is in cu custom farm. You don't even deserve to be direct sold. I'm just going to sell you. Because you are the biggest pain in the arse. I just dislike the sound for some reason really badly. Oh, I really love the sound of this thing. So we're going to have it. Right. Talking about custom farm. Um, or custom. Because it cost or custom. I can't remember. But anyway. Talking about it. Yes. We have got lots of episodes up. We're up to five episodes already. This video will go up. Then episode six should go up after it. Which is going to make life a lot more fun for everyone because everyone's going to get all the videos and and then tomorrow I shall do episode seven go up eight nine ten all that till twenty because that's the number we've already pre-recorded to is twenty so This one I'll just roll down and hit the tree. I ain't bothered. Do what you want, Bale. Oh, it's funny how they just go to the side, isn't it, when they roll? 
suppose they are a bit of a funny shape, aren't they? But it doesn't really matter if they go in the grass field. We can salvage them out. At least it's not a river. No, Bale, get out of my course. Get out of the way, Bale. Helps if I shut the back and no, 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 the shot. Get out of the way, Bale. I haven't got a horn, fuck. Shouted it out the cab window. What I like about this uh, on 15 as well, you can actually see the Bale being made inside. So if we shot it. Wow, that Bale is going quick. And you're just being a pain in the arse. So you can go backwards. There we go. Whoa! Yeah! Fuck's sake, fuck off, I'm doing something. Right. So we'll get this done. Uh, then we're gonna stack, then we're gonna stack, we'll do it field by field. So we'll bail it, stack it, get it in, stacked. So I'm not like, we're not wasting time and time and I hate, I hate this hill. I'm probably gonna just get rid of this field and just put canola in it constantly. Shut up phone. That was my phone that has got the Simpsons tapped out game on. If you don't know what that was, it was not Homer. Right, let's go down. See, as you can see, it's a fucking pointless hill. Right, let's fold up and get it back. Well, right, as you can see, how many landed in the next field? One, two, three. I really can't bother to go the roadway. Right. Uh, now the reason I've got to bring this back and then just swap them over is because instead of using the big loader to drag it up there, I'm going to use the little T6 and put a weight on it. and drag it up like that and then sort of just leave it really so that's the abbey tanker it's a bit dull in color yeah I know the gray isn't as nice as the orange or the black but I'm not really that bothered there, there is a black red rock actually red rock made a black tanker I've seen a picture of that on Facebook it, was, it looks quite nice but yeah the John Deere plow and the cultivator so for some reason just sitting in the clamp has got them dirty, so Right, let's turn around. Insane lock. So I I'm, I use most of this I use this to get most of the equipment onto the farm and back off. I, I sold all the starting stuff apart from the fuel bows of the rake and the feeder. And the sprayer, as you saw. Just because I don't really like the starting stuff. I like to start off and then just get mods. Because mods are a lot better than just the starting equipment. Because if Giants made a, like, John Deere New Holland pack sort of thing and made them good. I mean, they don't, don't doubt the JCB pack is amazing, but. Right, now I need to find somewhere flattish for this to get stacked on. Right, let's put it at the top of the field. So the little, the little farm master has to keep carting them up and down the field to the top. Because it's the flattest bit of the map. But yeah, this hill is a bastard. I might sell the round baler and the round wrapper and just get square baler with square wrapper. Because I've got a... What's it one? 
well, uh, I'll show you. You may have seen it as I've scrolled through here. It is here, the McHale Square Baylor. Um, uh, I have no idea how well it works, but it's, it can have a go with it. Right, let's get some stacking done with the beast. Alt H, feck off. We're going to put him in that little shed just next to the big one. So we're on 122 subscribers. Thank you everyone for subscribing and all that. Tell me what you think of the new series on Custom Farm. I'm enjoying it. I hope you are too. So. Right. Let's get the ones out the bloody edge first. And at least get them onto the field. Wow, this tractor is great for stacking because you can actually see what you're doing. Let's nudge it. X, X. So we are just going to put it down and leave it for now. There you go. The first two that can go on the trailer. I'm going to sort of work my way from the bottom of the field upwards. It'll make life easy. Right, come on. Go on, be good. Go on the forks. So I had no idea that this pack actually had these in. Till today, when I was scrolling through it to find the bucket for this loader, and they were there. And I did re-download them, a different set, and I never knew. So... two things I've learnt today. Never ever bail this field, which is field 5, I think. Wow, this tractor's going to love it on this field. Well, wheel loader. I've never actually seen someone stack with a wheel loader before. Well, I was having a drink. Sorry about that. Right, let's stack it on. No, no, no. Fuck off. Come on, wheel load to be good. Your first time stacking anything on a field and you're just messing around. Now, we will have to use this for getting in silage bales because it doesn't have come with any other loader attachments other than this one that work it. I mean, it is unrealistic because it does pierce the wrapping, but really, it's a game, so. We, we can allow for a little bit of stupidity here and there. Especially off me. What are you doing, Bale? Fucking come here. What are you doing, loader? Wow, for fuck's sake, loader. Alright, let's let them two roll away. Alright, I've got all the diff locks on so it won't fucking move anywhere. I'm just going to slam the handbrake on. Come on, Bale, stop moving. Every time it moves, I have to reposition myself. Fuck. Come on, be good. Right, wrong set of forks. I really should have just left the shifter on. So I'll have to, I'll have to redo that. Because the shifter means I can just leave it in, in forward. And press spacebar to change it to reverse. But then it won't, like, when I press the brake, it'll actually break. Oh, fuck, I put it on the wrong side. When I press the brake, it'll actually stop, not try and go in reverse. Where's the bail? Oh, what's that? Right, let's hook up to it. So now you'll get to see my brilliant fucking guesswork. Because I hate... I hate doing this. There we go. I'm not even that bothered anymore. As long as I just get in. 
I don't care how long. As long as they actually get into the farm and actually stay dry, I'm not bothered. But I don't think this farm sim Sunday is going to be an hour because I just really I'm tired as hell. So probably get most of this stack on and then that'll be it. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the map change. I mean, I I change it up just to so it's not permanently just whatever that other map was. I've still got a save game on it, so if you want me to go back, just say so and we will. But I kind of enjoy changing it up and swapping it, really. It has been quite fun. Right, so that wants to go there. Alright, X. Let's back up. So this is the part where it gets starts to become annoying as hell. When the bales are like really close to each other and they start trying to roll away. Okay, what are you doing, bale for? Go in. Oh, we were at the wrong angle, weren't we? Right, that's not gonna connect, I know that. Oh yeah, it will. It will because it fell off. Right, so let's go stick this up here. So yeah, this load is going to be coming really handy. It's because it's the, the sheer power of it and the sheer size makes stacking easy and all that. And it, the fact that it can haul its own trailer because it has a towing hitch. I just like to do it with a tractor. Come on, don't be gay. There we go. The jet engine. Right, let's let's get the bale fork dead straight and get it in. Did. How many more we got to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, and there's seven. There's one left. One at the top on its own, so that can go him on the forks of this. No, -ho. this is the problem with the bendy bit. Well, with it being an articulated tractor. Oh, fuck off, Bale. I hate you. Wow, Bale, really? There. Yes, I had it then. Oh, my God, if I was quick enough. Alright, now he's just got to roll away for the next billion year. Come on. Come here! Fuck's sake, come on. Now it's just going to sit right there, in it? Right in that fucking tree line. Oh, fuck, the cab's too big. Keep forgetting it's not li li like a little dinky tractor loader where I can just go through the smallest of gaps. It does have actually some... Right, there we go. Now you've stopped moving. No, just because I'm fucking hooking up to you doesn't mean you have to move. There we go. Don't even care anymore. I will care when the stack goes down. I shall onto the actual... Like, goes in the shed because I want it to look nice, but... On the trailer, don't care. I'm just gonna pick them up and throw them in. But yeah, I never knew the Robert Forks fitted on this. I know they didn't. I know the the first ones he did didn't, but I think these are one point. I think these are like the next version of them, which do. So that's really handy actually, because I couldn't really find a use for this thing, just apart from cleaning out and loading grain, but. After I thought, well, I want to see what it's like when it looks, when it's like dirty, what it looks like. What well, does it look nice? Does it look horrible? Because the Case Puma one, is it 160, looks quite nice when it's dirty. Right, let's 
put these on. We'll probably get this entire field bail, uh, stacked before I can be bothered. Before we end the episode. I mean, it's great as well because it doesn't need its own weight. The engine actually balances out the weight of the bales. So. You can get away with quite a bit on it. So look, I tap the handbrake and he just fucking... Tap the brake and he just goes back. So I think putting the uh, what's it name back on. Putting the drive shifter thing back on is a must now for this thing. Oh dear. Oh, let's put that on. Oh my god, that's deformed. So this is why I don't like bailing on a hill. Because stacking becomes even worse. I can put up with, like, the thing not wanting to go on. But the second... No, don't nudge it. Oh my god, I thought they were going to roll away then. Honest to God, thought they were going to roll away. Right, we're going to stack them on a three and uh, cart them home on this. And they can be the first three to go in the uh, shed for the cows. So what I mean by this is we're going to stack... Well, we'll leave that one there. Get you. No, don't knock it over. Fuck's sake. You go there, yeah. There, like that. Come on, don't fucking move. And then this one goes on top, makes a three. Which I can't. I probably could have stacked the entire field like that, but I didn't fucking feel like it because it's a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass to do, really. I would like a Logitech steering wheel with a joystick or get a something that's a lot easier to control than a mouse like something that you can get really fine adjustments on would actually be quite nice no come on So close, but yet so far, for fuck's sake. Right, there we go. No, raise that up. Right, we've got to get this pretty much square on. Which we, which we as ourselves are not pretty much square. Yes, don't even care, they're on. Right, let's get in a little New Holland and make sure them bales don't come flying off. Stay there. Yeah. So unlock, lock. Oh, there we go. They shouldn't be going anywhere now. So let's get these back. Get these straight into the cow shed. Get them. Ba get these uh, things straight away, making a bit more than just zero in productivity. So let's. Quite a loud machine, this is. Oh, he tanks it home. Oh, it doesn't say that the lights are on. So, yeah, this is going to be quite fun. This is going to be a quite good map to actually play on. Right, this thing is actually too big to fit in here, so. It shall have to go over here. Oh, it does fit here. I 
Okay, we got it in. We got to get it out. It's funny how when you fucking spread them, one will just sit on top of the other quite happily like that. And you can have it floating in the air. There we go. Bedded. Fucking hell, how are we going to get this bloody thing out of here? Anyway, that's going to do for Farm Sim Sunday. Yes, it's a little bit shorter than the rest of them. But we're slowly running out of daylight here. And all that sort of stuff. So, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more today. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Happy farming. Goodbye.